I should have vlogged this intro earlier, but I forgot. I'm going to the Amazon so Rainforest to film some videos, one on Purple Martins as a songbird, and one on the importance of the Amazon as a whole. So we'll see how this goes. I'm stressed. It's been a long time since I've been out of the country, and I've never been to Brazil. So, let's go to Brazil. Okay. Oh. Good start. Really, really good start. That kid is probably crying because he can't play the Ants Underground Kingdom. Hey guys, I saw some really cool ants in Brazil, so I'm really excited to share this game with you guys. It's called the Ants Underground Kingdom. It's not just a game, it's an ant-filled adventure. You can build a colony and defend against its enemies. You can observe realistic ants and their habits without having to go outside, control them to do all the cool stuff that real ants do. So first you build an ant hill, and there's so much to do in game. I love using Reap Master, which is one of the strongest ants, and the Slim Arched with its perfectly balanced bonuses. And here's a tip, you can hatch the gold armor for free through the seven day sign-in event. Take your ant kingdom to the next level with the insect system. It gets unlocked after level 16. You get lots of buffs, helps your development, and you get different insects to add to your arsenal. Also, you can join the new season called the Race of Champions. Join forces with your alliance to get control over the Tree of Abundance, win special ant hill skins, decorations, and ants. Next season starts signing up from the 8th of April. Don't miss out. Now for the third anniversary of the ants, there are crazy gifts waiting for you. Download, log into the game, and enter the code ANTS2024 to receive a super gift pack including a hundred consecutive supreme draws and loads of resources that will support the development of your ant kingdom. Okay, it has been a bit since I took this trip, so we're gonna see what I remember, but this will be a journey for you and me both, uh, me being voice over Maya. Uh, Sick bathroom review. Great, okay, so we flew from Austin to Panama City. So we had a layover here in Panama City. It was a really, really nice airport. They had a lot of cool shops, a lot of cool stuff to buy, some snacks. I was walking around trying to find our gate here, but the layover was really quick. It was only like a couple hours, I think. Easy peasy. Austin to Panama City, four hours. Panama City to Manaus, four hours. Actually really easy travel to get to the Amazon rainforest, who knew? Here's us getting on our second plane to go to Manaus. There I am. This was the plain food. I specifically included this clip because my editor hates melted cheese and I thought this would be his absolute nightmare. I'm sorry. But actually it was pretty good plain food. I don't know. I kind of like plain food. Controversial hot take. And then they also gave me this cookie. It was not very good, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, and then we landed in Manaus in Brazil at like, I don't know, like three in the morning or something. It was super, super late. And then we got picked up by our ecotourism group. Oh, check out luggage bin. Sick. So we went through customs, we did the whole shebang, blah, 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 and then we left the airport and then we met with our ecotourism group. Uh, Amazon is bird watching ecotours. Picked us up. They were amazing the whole time. It's hot. And then we took this taxi to get to our hotel and I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'm sure this taxi driver is really awesome, but he was driving fast, man. I mean, he was going fast. It was kind of scary. <laughs> I was a little alarmed. <laughs> this is not sped up. I have made it to the first hotel. It is just past four in the morning and it's hot as in here. And it's humid as in here. We're going to a different hotel tomorrow night, but because we got in so late, I booked this one. It's cute. Like cool, okay. Cool, perfect. I have to leave here by noon tomorrow to go to the other hotel. I gotta get ready for bed and then do that. The trip was fine. We have all of our luggage, no flight delays, no getting lost in Panama. Honestly, everything, the only problem is there are two hotels with this name and I booked this one and I was supposed to book the other one. So we had to go an extra 30 minutes to get to this new hotel, but yes, you know, is what it is. Things could be worse. Technically day one, done, I guess. See you in the morning. Good morning. I am so stupid. <laughs> when I got in here last night, it was like so hot and so humid and just rough. And I was like, well, welcome to Brazil. Like, this is how it is. I slept with no sheets. Like I just slept on this and sweated all night and it was so gross. And then this morning I woke up and this is literally sitting right here. I saw the AC unit, but I didn't think I had any, like there was nothing on the wall. Like I'm like used to seeing things on the wall to control it or whatever. And there wasn't anything. So I was just like, oh, 
I guess I can't do anything with the AC. I guess this is how it is. And I didn't see that remote until I woke up this morning and I turned it on. Now the room is like normal. It's like a normal hotel room. I'm devastated. So I slept not very well because this whole, the whole night I was just like sweating. But now it's nice in here. Uh, we are going to the other hotel, the hotel that we're staying at for the rest of the trip in like 20 minutes or so. I'll give you guys a tour there. Ooh, check this out though. I looked at my view this morning. It looks like a CSGO map. CSGO map. Look at this. Tell me that's not like just barely rendered. I don't know, it's cool. Brazil. Here's the fit check, by the way. I know I said last night was day one, but I'm actually gonna call this day one. Also, I'm gonna tuck this in. Okay, this is the fit check, actually, day one. See you at the hotel. My first bug in Brazil. Oh, look at him! Look at him. Wait, you didn't have bugs in your room? I did see one hand last night. <laughs> All right, now we're traveling to the next hotel. The next hotel that we stayed at was super, super nice. You're gonna see it in just a second. This was my first time seeing Brazil in the daylight, which is pretty neat. This hotel's crazy. Look at this. It's so pretty. Wait, look. Hello. It's the pool. Can I leave here? <gasps> Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh. Wow. Whoa. Look, they left me a little bookmark Ooh. and a note. It was very, very nice. Cute. Wait, I didn't show you the bathroom. Look at the bathroom. Insane shower. It's, it's four times the size as my tiny house shower. Whoa. 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look how cute. So cute. Those snacks. Hooray! Just such a ridiculously beautiful hotel. I, I was so lucky to do this trip and see all this. I just, I'm super, super grateful. This was the downstairs area. There's like a bunch of tables. There's a bar. You can get drinks. You could get snacks. They gave me a coupon for a free creme brulee and I got a free creme brulee at dinner. So nice. It was delicious. All right, now we're on the move. Where to? I do not remember. Oh, we went to the mall. <laughs> Okay, this is us going to the mall. Uh, Flip and I were here for a day before anybody else got here, so we had to spend the day together. Yuck. So we decided to go to this mall to pick up some gifts for family and, and swimsuits because we both somehow forgot swimsuits wow. when we went to Brazil. But it was a crazy mall. It was huge. Look at this ball pit. What the heck? What the heck? Giant mall. And they had this weird little water feature with little boats. What the heck? Then there was this crazy store where they had a bunch of fun stuff. So fun. I, I had a moment here where I was looking outside the mall and I was like, oh my God, rainforest. I think it's planted and it's like, it's, you know, it's just a spot in the middle of the mall, but. Hello. I took a shower. I think it's like 6.30. We got back from the mall. We don't have anything else to do today and I'm so tired. I think the terrible sleep that I got last night is just now catching up to me. I don't want to fall asleep because I think it's going to mess up my sleep later, but I don't know. Now I'm just sitting here. I bought a pair of shorts at the mall. Oh, cool. See, so yeah, I'm here. And then people start arriving. Some people have already gotten here with our group for the Purple Martin stuff, but more people get here tomorrow. Unless I do something else interesting tonight, I might see you tomorrow. This is day one. It's very chill. Day one and day two, so chill because we got here early because of that's how I had to buy the flights. So see you either tonight or i'll see you on day two day one and day two are boring i don't remember what i said i don't know i, v I vlog later this is the next morning this is my first breakfast um i was here by myself because flip didn't wake up and it's such a cute little breakfast spot hi it's day two i could not sleep last night i woke up this morning i like nine because I wanted to go to breakfast because we ate one meal yesterday. I don't know why Flip and I are eating nothing. And um, we don't really have that much to do today as well. Everything starts tomorrow morning. She brought me this. She said it's a welcome. It smells really nice, but I have no idea what this is. Holy shit. 
it's ginger. Good morning. So I'm just gonna eat and read by myself. <laughs> they do. This is so fancy. I only ordered this. Look at this. They brought all They this. gave me a yogurt and they brought me fruit and plantain. like a little sandwich with maybe egg and some plantain in it. And then a tapioca pancake with cheese. And then I don't know what the third thing is, but it was really good. Um, so I sat here and I read my book again. This day is also super chill. Nothing crazy happens. No, no crazy rainforesty thing happens. We're just waiting for the rest of the crew. My schedule is so, is so messed up. I went and got breakfast. It was lovely. I came back. I was so tired because I slept terribly. And then I fell asleep for three hours. Again, we're not doing anything right now. Joe, executive director of Purple Martin Conservation Association, he gets here at 3 p.m. today. I slept for three hours. It's now 12.45 on day two. So we actually start, like we'll have a dinner with the group tonight. Otherwise, Flip and I just got here early and so we've just been killing time. So it's fine that I slept, but like, man, what the heck? I don't know, I gotta fix it tonight. I have to, I have to be fine and normal tonight. Also, everything that I eat is just messing with my stomach. It's just because my stomach isn't used to it. It's obviously like a super nice place. Look at this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? How cool is that? So cool. All right, I gotta like not lay here. I gotta get up and I don't know, maybe I'll go to the pool. We have, we have like three, four hours to kill now and I don't want to just lay in bed. So I'm gonna do something. I put on makeup and close. I brought my insect book, came to the pool. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna sit here like a normal person and read my book or if I'm gonna crawl around. Just like look for bugs like a freak. <laughs> I'll decide later. I did end up crawling around. <laughs> I saw one. And then I sat down because there's a window up there where people are eating lunch and I knew they could see me and it made me uncomfortable. Flip and I went to get, I guess, a late lunch here, and it started raining. Fun fact about the rainforest, it just dumps rain sometimes out of nowhere. Look, I got a grilled cheese. It's so much cheese. After lunch, before people were coming to the hotel to meet us for dinner, Flip and I came back to my room to start picking apart the script, to start taking notes, to put it in order, because the script was in order of how it would look in the video, but not what order we're filming it in. And then I started doing some research on leafcutter ants because I knew I would see leafcutter ants and I wanted to talk about them. So this is just me like getting all of my stuff together before we go out to actually start filming tomorrow. Vlog update. Flip and I just spent the last like almost four hours on the script rewriting, taking notes, reorganizing, reformatting, reprinting, everything. And I feel way more ready to film. We start filming tomorrow. Everybody's here today. I'm leaving to go to dinner right now to meet with all the people we're traveling with. So tomorrow it really begins. Day three is when it really begins. We start filming. Okay, here's a fit check. Cool earrings. I did not film the dinner because I didn't want to be cringe. Okay. Bedtime. Day two. I gotta be up at six in the morning. See it's six in the morning. Yeah. That clip, <laughs> that clip is so funny. <laughs> But I'm not gonna film because I'm going to breakfast with other people and I'm not gonna be cringe. But we're going to breakfast and then we're leaving this hotel and getting on a boat to go see birds. It begins! All right, just got back from breakfast. I need to chug water because you don't know when the next time you're gonna get water that you can drink is. So I have all this water and I need to drink it all and I'm taking a malaria pill. I drink water before I take pills. I don't know why it makes it easier for me. Um, and then Flip was throwing up last night and was up until 1 a.m. throwing up. So I need to bring him these and Dramamine because he's gonna get more nauseous today because he's weak. <laughs> I'm he is having a really hard time. It's actually really sad. 
the day begins today. I'm gonna chug this water and then take you outside. Amazon is bird watching eco tour. They gave us little good, give 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 the goodie bags. How nice! Oh, it's a hat. They gave us little candies. Oh my god, it's so nice. And Brazil nuts. Wow. We were leaving the hotel today to go stay on a boat hotel. So we we're getting in this van, going to the water, to go to the boat hotel, to go see the Purple Martins for the first time. So this is when the actual conservation work starts. First couple days was just like travel, getting settled in, whatever. Now it's like, now it's beginning. This is the Brazil footage you came for. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Ooh, I see water. Okay, we are seeing boats, people. These are not the boat hotels, but they are boats. We're driving down to the dock. One of those big boats is the boat hotel that we stayed on. So we're bringing our luggage down there. This is actually where I filmed my first clip for the Purple Martin video that's coming out. This is my hotel room on the boat. How cool. I got a bunk bed. I was in the room alone. Oh, hell yeah. Very cool. And then the boat has multiple stories. There's a story, like a, a restaurant. Look, look, it's like a little restaurant. Sort of. And there's a, there's a bar and there's the water. That's the uh, Rio Negro. And then down here is where all the rooms are. Look, here's my room. I forgot my key. I got my key. Room tour. MTV, welcome to my crib. It's a Rio Negro. On the boat. Yeah, besides it being hot, it's just hot everywhere. This room's really nice. I'm excited. Uh, we have like three hours on this boat and then we get onto a smaller boat and then we see birds and then we go into the jungle. So. So far, so good day three. Here we are on the boat going to see the Purple Martins for the first time. So we are going to see them at sunset the first day. Purple Martins is a songbird. I've done videos on them. There will be a big video coming out about just them on this channel. They migrate from the US to the Amazon rainforest every year. It's really incredible. We're on a boat right now going to an indigenous community. The boat's actually really nice for being this small. I'm comfy. Doing good. Wait, pit stop. Before we went to see the birds, we went to this indigenous community. I forgot. So this indigenous community lets tourists come in to see some of their cultural practices. They do some instrument playing, they do dances, they show us some of the foods that they eat. And it was really, really special as a conservationist to see these people that will know and understand the Amazon rainforest obviously better than I will ever understand it. And it was a really important part of my conservation journey. I've always known that it's important to include people that are living in these places and on these lands, but it never really hit me uh, until this experience. So I'm super, super grateful for this. It's just very, very cool. Snack. Okay, so then they showed us some of their- It's a termite. Foods, some of their traditional foods. Dried One of them termite. was a termite. They're just dried little termites. So I ate it. Tastes like a corn nut. So I had a little termite. Rain's coming. And then we went to get back on the boats again. I can feel it to go back to the boat hotel. The rain did in fact hit us. It's raining a little bit. We're going back to the big boat. We're back on the big boat. Big boat. And we're going to see the pink river dolphins right now. Let's so see if I can get some footage of that. I don't know what that, what exactly that's gonna look like, but it should be cool. Still haven't seen any giant bugs. We came to see pink river dolphins, which is crazy because I've only ever seen videos and read about them. Uh, but they live here. These are them in the wild. How crazy is that? <laughs> I didn't get very much footage of them. We weren't there for very long, but you saw a little bit of them. It was very cool to see. And then we got on a boat. We went back to the hotel boat again. We saw dolphins. I didn't get very many clips of them, but take my word for it, they were cool. Yeah, I'm excited to tell my whale and dolphin conservation buddies about them. They're really neat. I'm on, I'm in my room right now on the boat and we are going to Purple Martin Island because we're gonna see the Purple Martins for the first time tonight at their roost. They get back at sunset 
to go to sleep. So we're gonna see them all coming back tonight. And that's where we're going right now. I'm really tired, it's like four o'clock. We've been going since 6 a.m. So I'm a little sleepy, but I can't fall asleep yet. Day three, I've done a lot today. See you at the Purple Martin Island. I'm a super fan. Okay, now we are on our way. Now we are actually on our way to Purple Martin Island where I thought we were going earlier. This is technically what I came to Brazil for is uh, Joe, the president of PMCA asked me if I wanted to travel with them. Okay. Oh. <laughs> we went out to find the birds, barely saw any birds. It started raining and I mean, it's raining out there. I'm in the rainforest. I didn't film anything because we really didn't see that many birds, I swear. Um, but we're gonna go back out in the morning and hopefully it won't be pouring and then the birds will be out and we'll see them then. But uh, overall, 10 out of 10 for my immersion into the rainforest. Birding, bird watching, three out of 10. <laughs> so we're gonna just, I'm gonna, dry off and then go eat dinner. Okay, never mind. We got rained out. This is the upper deck of the boat. I did have reception up here, which was kind of cool. So I came up here to make calls, but it is a little spooky at night. Uh, hello, it is about nine o'clock, I think. I just took a shower. The shower was fascinating. I would show you, but my phone's on the charger, so I can't move it right now, but I'll insert a picture. Weird, I don't have a picture. I just want to here yeah you kind of have to like sit on the toilet to take a shower and there's obviously no hot water because we're on a boat which is fine it actually wasn't bad because it's pretty hot out so it was fine um but i took a shower we leave at 5 a.m tomorrow morning um i ate dinner it's one of the ladies birthdays on this trip so she got a birthday cake and he's saying happy birthday it was really cute i'm sorry i'm not filming all those parts i just i don't want to be cringe and film all the people that came here to like have a vacation, you know? So we're just getting these parts, but tomorrow uh, we go back to find the Purple Martins bright and early. And then we go into the jungle, to a jungle lodge. So, see you tomorrow. For that, it's time for bed. Good night. Okay, interesting. Here are some pictures, videos, I guess, vertical videos for some reason, of uh, some of the birds that we saw the next morning, the Purple Martins. Again, you will see actual footage of the Purple Martins in the Purple Martin video that's coming out on this channel. It's just taking time to edit because it's a it's a bigger video. So the this morning was sort of a success in seeing the Purple Martins. We saw a lot of them, but we didn't get everything we needed. So there's a couple more times that we come back out to the island to see the roost, but we did see a lot of, a lot of birds, which was good. Hello. It's like 6 a.m. It rained again. We didn't see that many. I mean, we saw a lot of birds, but not not like a ton of purple martins. I think we have to do the filming at sunset, so we have to go out again. I'm not filming much when I'm out there because Flip and I are filming, and so I can't take my phone out and vlog. So you'll have to see those in the actual purple martin video or the actual footage in the purple martin video. These are just like the the updates. We gotta get some food and dry off again. <sighs> I don't know. Three out of 10. This was the view from off the boat when we were stopped to eat lunch. I just thought it was really cool. This is the Amazon rainforest, baby. Brazil! I came to Brazil. This down here was Mario Conhaft. He's a researcher, really amazing guy. We did some great interviews with him and he was looking for a specific bird. Look at this, this was at lunchtime. Are you kidding me? This is a local community that we're boating past. I think if I had to guess, I would say that, you know, we're turning. We're not going to Purple Martins. We are going to get on a bus right now. We're on a bus, I. that's right. We got on a bus because we are going uh, on like a three hour drive right now to another hotel. So now we're going into the rainforest, which is very, very exciting. All right, three hour bus ride over. We got to this hotel, another beautiful hotel owned by the same company as the first one. And it was awesome. It was like really in the jungle and it was raining and they brought us out these umbrellas, which was very nice of them. This was the, like the lobby, I guess, of the hotel. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. I want to live here. And then they gave us some, they called it welcome juice. I still don't really know what it is, but I drank it. It was very good. I drank all of it. This is my room. Are you kidding me? Whoa. Whoa. I still feel that way. Look at the little toucan. 
Dude, this is nuts and so fancy. What on earth? <laughs> Let me out. Whoa. By miles, the coolest hotel I have ever stayed at, ever, and probably will ever stay at. This is hands down the coolest place I've ever <laughs> stayed in my entire life. <laughs> okay. The coolest place Confirm. I've stayed in my entire life. This morning sucked, I'm gonna be honest. We got up at 5 a.m., we got no shots. Then we took that van for three hours and it was so bumpy and I could not sleep. And my back hurts, my neck hurts, and I was miserable. And now I'm stoked. <laughs> I wanna find bugs, it's raining. So, if it stops raining, I'll go find bugs and we're going to get dinner. Yay! Bathroom review, 10 out of 10, baby. Look at the shower. Are you kidding me? What? Hello. We ate lunch. I'm sitting in like the lodge. The nicest lodge I've ever seen. Oh my God, it's so cool. I'm sitting in here now because I have to write a script for a reel that I'm doing on insects. Uh, so I've been reading a book. I read a book on the van right over. I'm going to write a reel on bugs and then Flip and I are gonna walk around, find a bug and hopefully film an Instagram reel. That's the plan. Time lapse. So when I say I'm writing a reel, I mean, I'm writing a script for an Instagram reel. I'm doing a collaboration or a collaborative reel with Xerxes Invertebrate Conservation Society. So I just had to do a little bit of research and write out a script for it. We got Leandro over here. Leandro was a tour guide for us uh, who was pointing out where we were going to go on boats. Tonight, we all got life jackets on, um, and Leandro was pointing it out. Leandro is the coolest person ever. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel, by the way. Grew up indigenous in the Amazon and then became a tour guide for the Amazon rainforest. He was amazing. Bug time over. Bug time now. Oh, I saw dolphins. Gray river dolphins. I don't know if you could see them there. It's not very well filmed, but they're in there. Okay, where are we going now? It looks late. So I think that we're going to do a night tour. We're on a boat to see wildlife anyway. Here's some birds. It doesn't, I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, check those out. I don't remember what they're called. I'm sorry. Here's Flip filming and I'm leeching off of his nice lens. These are, wait, are these, did they, are these the white winged swallows? I don't know. They're so cute, dude. Look how cute they are. Little puff balls, little puff puff, little puff of the cotton ball birds. Babies. White winged swallows. White winged swallows. They're cute little puffballs <laughs> in the rain. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are, this actually was kind of emotional for me. This is two macaws. But I can't tell. I think they're blue and gold macaws, but it just reminded me of Tico and Miley. So crazy. This was actually. Looking back, I, this is one of my favorite parts of the trip. Nothing really happens. I just, I felt so immersed. Like we went through this canal on this boat and it was just so magical. And you can just kind of feel the life around you. Well, this was the canal. I'm not sure why I filmed it vertically, but look how cool it is. Can you imagine being on a boat like this? Just like, I could not believe it was my life. I'm sorry I filmed it vertically. I, I'm dumb, dumb, stupid, dumb. Okay. All right, we're horizontal again. Still amazing. I don't know why there were so many vertical shots. I'm sorry. I, I I don't know what I'm doing. You know what I was doing is I was recording these for my Instagram story and they just went in the, the folder with all the rest of the vlog footage. I'm sorry. The cool thing about this area that we're in right now is it's a flooded forest. So every year the, the water level rises and falls. And right now it's risen. So it's where it is on the tree line. But then when it falls, it you can walk and you can see the water line on the trees. These, I don't remember these, the names of these birds either. I am the worst, but uh, they're flying around catching insects. These birds, I also don't remember the name of, but they have cool looking nests. Check that out. Bad news, it started raining again. I am so traumatized by rain now. <laughs> After the Amazon, you get stuck on a little tiny boat with a lot, a lot of rain a couple times in the Amazon rainforest, and then all of a sudden you're afraid of rain. The Flip's camera is also afraid of rain. Look at him, he's so scared. Okay, it really actually did start to rain, and I feel like this clip doesn't even do it justice. It was so windy. We were going really fast on these boats. The rain was hitting my face really hard, and so I used this hat to protect myself. Shout out to Joe for letting me borrow this hat. It was a major asset. Okay, we saw a lot of cool stuff. Now we're going back to the hotel for dinner. I forgot to film when I got back last night. I found Wi-Fi and I FaceTimed my family. That was pretty much it, then it got dark. So, it is what, day four now? I woke up 
really sick today. I forgot um, this happened. Almost threw up, didn't. But my stomach is just like rough. Oh but my god. We're gosh. supposed to go on a hike in like 15 minutes. I just sat down at breakfast, which makes me anxious because I don't know if I'm gonna have time. But I also think if I don't eat, it would be bad news bears. I was not in good health at this point. That's the update. This was me putting on snake shin guards because we were gonna, uh, we were about to go on a hike with Leandro into the rainforest, which I had to do because I was so looking forward to it. This is just the beginning of it. He showed us a Goliath bird eating spider, or this is sorry, this is not a Goliath one. It's just a bird eating spider. But are you kidding me? This jungle hike was easily one of my favorite parts of the trip. I saw so much cool stuff out here. Leandro taught me so much. I am so grateful. This was so cool. It's my dream to go into the Amazon rainforest. This is me going into the Amazon rainforest. Look, I found mushrooms. They're jiggly. I found a little praying mantis. So cool. Leandro showed us another bird eating spider friend that lives here. So much of the footage from this hike is gonna be in our Amazon video that comes out on this channel. Again, this is just like a behind the scenes so you didn't get to see all of it, but when I tell you it was the Butterfly. coolest hike oh, I've ever cool. been on and will ever go on in my whole life. Believe me. We went on a hike. Now we're going back to the hotel. It is amazing. The boat is shaking. There you go. By the way, I had to stop on that hike so many times just to dry heave. I had really bad stomach pain the whole time, but like still 10 out of 10, it was just amazing. Oh. Yeah. Watch out for that one. That one. That one. That one. My immersion, 10 out of 10. And then I have all these bug bites now, but that's okay, it was worth it. Then we got back from the hike. At this point, my stomach pains have subsided quite a bit. I, I don't know, the hiking through the jungle kind of fixed me and I didn't feel like I had to throw up anymore, but it was actually really rough for a while there. <laughs> Hi, hello. I've been at the hotel for a couple hours. Um, people went piranha fishing and on canoes and I decided to sit it out um, because of my stomach uh, and because we wouldn't have been able to film it. So Flip and I just took a break uh, today for like a few hours, like three, four hours. I'm about to go down to a boat again because we're going, I think on like a night tour thing with a spotlight so we can see some nocturnal animals out there and I will try to film some of it. My stomach is, I started a round of antibiotics today. So we'll see how my body takes to that. Hopefully it helps. And then took some Pepto and Tums and you know, the whole whatever. So we'll see how I last. See you on the boat. Yeah, spotlight tour, spotlight. Look, we went out on boats yeah, at night and they showed me the tarantula tree. Too. These are like, I think they're pink toed, oh, pink knee, pink, pink toed tarantulas. Yeah. They live on this tree, all of them. There were like five. I'm getting so excited to show you guys this whole trip. I know there's only, I mean, I know I've kind of showed you half of it. There's so much more to see from Brazil. Um, I vlogged so much in Brazil. So on the next video, you guys will see some of the footage from the flashlight tour and some more footage from Purple Martins and just the rest of my trip. Again, this is only half of it. I was there for 11 days, so there's a lot more to see. If you guys liked this behind the scenes, let me know, like and subscribe. Tell me what was your favorite part in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it. And there will be a part two to my Brazil vlogs. Thank you to the Ants Underground Kingdom for sponsoring this video. Download the game now via the link in the description. Ants are so cool, go be an ant. See you on the next one. Like and subscribe.